Remember Mother's stories of Hira and the sacred wars. I wonder if she ever came here. How was Megaris? The wolf is dead. Excellent. The full amount is promised. You expected me to haggle? Come now, Alexios. It isn't every day I have someone kill their own father. But he wasn't your real father, was he? Why did you send me to kill Nikolaus? Because I knew you could. Oh, why him? Because he was brilliant. He would have taken Athens in a month, two at most. And Stendhal doesn't have the wolf's genius. Uh, you wanted to save Athens? There's no profit in a quick war. I know, I know. It's a lot to take in all at once. Come. Tell me, Mistyos, did you learn anything worthwhile in your dealings with the wolf? I'm done talking. I should kill you where you stand. Temper, temper. Ah, and they said you'd be different. But blood is blood, I suppose. They? What blood? You really are more brawn than brains, aren't you? A shame. I could have used you for more of my errands. Malaka! You think you can play with me? I'll cut out your tongue! So disappointing. You there! Time to say goodbye, scum!
Elpinor snuck away like a coward. I should investigate his house. A letter to Alpinor. Oh, Phoebe. You led him right to me. Alpinor's looking for a woman. I wonder who he wants in his slimy grasp now. This is a ship manifest. Alpinor selling weapons to both Athens and Sparta. He wants this war to go on forever. I have met some treacherous people. None of them compare to Alpinor. I'm going to look under every rock, in every shadow, until I find and kill this vile serpent. Fuck them all. Gods, oracles, and especially pipe. Sailors. What's your problem? What don't I have fucking problems with? The oracle for one, the sea for another, and don't get me started on my crew. You have business with the oracle? You're a long way from Delphi. Had business. And my business is none of your fucking business. I ain't shopping for a merc. If anything, I need the gods. You need a god? I'm the next best thing. Oh, you're a live one. That's a good pitch. I'll give you that. So, who are you? Captain Yellon of the Shark's Tooth. Shark Tooth's your boat? Do I look like a fucking fisherman? I sail a ship, not a boat. Malaka, I came to see if you needed help. Fuck you. No one asked you to. You know what? Fuck you. <sighs> okay, sorry. Been a bad day. I finished my business with the Oracle and was meant to meet my ship here. They're nowhere to be fucking found, and I've been here since last night. So, you sought the Oracle's advice? Her? Pfft, fuck no! I'd rather seek counsel in the wind from my ass. Then why seek her out? We got a deal. I suppose no harm in telling you. She lets me know where the pilgrims are coming from. Then I supply the transport for their journey, and we split the fee. So you're trying to tell me the Oracle has divine intuition of where the pilgrims will be coming from? <laughs> fuck no! She asks her believers how full the ports are. Then she tells me. Simple. You have business here in Fokis? I got business everywhere. Right now, it's where's my fucking ship? So where's the shark's tooth? I wouldn't fucking be here if I knew, would I? Okay, let me rephrase. Where was the crew meant to be? Well, um, I sent my girl Yiki off. Pilgrims get stuck in the shallows round here, and, uh, we sort of help out. Oh. Your girl? Yeah. Best hand I ever had, and more. Look, find my ship and my Yiki, will you? I'll pay. I'll find out what happened and bring them back. Do you know where they could have gone? The southeastern shore is pretty rich pickings. Nice cove there to trap lost, wealthy pilgrims. You're a pirate. What if I fucking am? I'm the pirate that's paying you. Anyway, I'm not a pirate all the time. It's more of a hobby. A hobby? 
You sure the crew didn't mutiny and run off on you? Not with my Yiki at the helm. Plus, they never got the cut from our last trip. They wouldn't leave without getting paid. Describe Yiki. She's beautiful, she is. Kisses like summer. From the first time I saw her, I wanted to eat her all up. Not helpful? Okay, okay. She's raven-haired, and has a precious band on her arm that I gave her. Always wears it. I'll find them and return as soon as I can. Like sharks got the whole crew. It's the description of Yiki's armband. Found your ship. And? Come on now, where are they? Where's my Yiki? I really don't know how to tell you this. Oh, for fuck's sake. Zeus could have impregnated the whole of Athens in the time it takes you to say anything. Where are they? They're dead, all right? And your ship's gone too. Oh, my Yiki. All I found is her armband. Yiki. Suppose I'm not much of a captain now. Can't be a captain without a ship. I can offer you a place on my crew. I know it's not like having your own ship, but you'll be part of a family. Hmm. Well, I'd rather be at sea than stuck here with these pious idiots. You got yourself a deal. 
Just till I'm back on my feet. Of course. Now, where is your boat? Ship? <laughs> it's called the Adrestia. Whatever you say, Captain. Stand aside, all of you. I hope this oracle gives better news than the one in Sparta. The sanctuary of Nelfi. The gods themselves watch over this land. Alexios, isn't this remarkable? We're so close to the gods, I can feel Apollo all around me. How did it go with Elpinon? We can talk later in private. Who's this? Just a simple pilgrim. He just saw the oracle. I couldn't help but ask if she's as glorious as they say. Well, is she? Is she left me with more questions than answers. That's the oracle for you. Well, it's just he seemed interested in legends. Like you. I, I thought you might get along. How did... One more move and the spear will be at your throat. Tell me your name. I also mentioned you can be a little defensive. My name is Herodotus. I'm a storyteller. Or I was. This war is forcing us all to new extremes. <laughs> that much is true. Why are you hiding your identity? I'm here on behalf of a man in Athens. A very powerful man. We intend to finally end this war. You told me you came to ask the Oracle a personal question. War is personal, Barnabas. So, you came to seek the Pythia's guidance on how to end the war? I did. Though something is wrong in Delphi. Guards at every turn, people being turned away. You don't seem convinced the Pythia can be believed. What did she tell you? I asked her to show the path to the war's end. She said, spring should not wish for winter as it brings death with it. Such wisdom! I don't understand a word of it, but that's why she's in there and we're out here. I know a threat when I hear one. <laughs> you were on Kefalonia for too long. This line is ridiculous. Are there always this many people to see the Pythia? These are more than just people. Every city sends a Fiori 
or sacred ambassadors to seek guidance on behalf of their people. The Pythia not only shapes the destinies of individuals, but of the entire Greek world. Imagine what power one would have if they controlled what came out of her mouth. Apollo controls this. Of course he does. Delphi is nothing like they say. Has it always been like this? No. This was once an open and welcoming place. But war changes things. People seek out the Pythia for more political reasons. Prophecies in times of war often stir violent emotions. It's wise to keep your blades sheathed. Drawing blood in Delphi is considered an insult to Apollo. Punishment is severe. I have my own questions for the Pythia. But this line... I'll be an old man by the time I see her. <laughs> You're joking! You carry more blades than a field of grass! I didn't come here to start trouble. Trouble? Just walk in! Who's going to stop you? The priest? <laughs> All right. But if things get out of hand, I'm blaming you, Varnavas. Is he not every bit as great as I said? I'm here to see the Pythia. Only those chosen by the light of Apollo may enter. How does one get chosen? One goes to the back of the line. Do I look like someone who waits in line? Enter into the light of Apollo, the light that illuminates shadow. Choose your question wisely, mortal, for you have but one. Speak, truth seeker! I lost my mother when I was young. I have to find her. Where is she? It's you! From the visions! The child on the mountain! How could you know that? You need to leave. Now. Leave? Do you have any idea what I've been through to get here? Oh, but I do. While in Kausos, you didn't cower in the face of the priest. A child and her family still live thanks to you. But... how? No one can hide from the light. Please. I've come this far. You must have the answers I seek. Child of the mountain, the cult of Cosmos have eyes everywhere. They will kill you. The cult of Cosmos? The Oracle has spoken! The prophecy is yours! You never answered my question! The Pythia is done for the day. I'm not leaving until I get answers! Rotatos, you're still here. Where's Varnavas? He's gone back to your ship. You don't look happy with your prophecy. She... knew who I was. <laughs> She's the Pythia. It's her business to act like she knows you. That was no act. She said she had visions of me as a child on a mountain. What child hasn't stood on a mountain? I was thrown from that mountain. My life started and ended on that mountain. I'm telling you. She knew who I was, what I'd done. Tried to warn me. Warn you? About what? She mentioned the cult of Cosmos. Does this mean anything to you? I'd heard whispers. A cult unlike any other coming to Delphi. But I paid them no mind. The Pythia seemed afraid of them. Guards took her away. Took her away? Then the whispers were true. If this cult has corrupted the Pythia... This is devastating news. Do you understand what this means? 
Through her, the cult controls the world. I need to speak with her when she's not so well protected. That would require a miracle from the gods. She is always protected. You know more about the Pythia than I do. Where would she be? When she's not in the temple of Apollo, she's at her home in the Hora of Delphi. I can't go breaking down every door until I find her. The Oracle's home is probably easy enough to spot. She'd be the only person in the Hora of Delphi who can afford to live in luxury. Where in the Hora of Delphi does the Pythia live? I've heard she lives on the outskirts of the village, but be warned, she will be guarded. Not everyone comes to see the Oracle with the best of intentions. I'll find where the Pythia lives. And I will get answers. Alexios, don't forget. Brute force is useless when finesse is required. Ground. You should not be here. Well, either leave or tell me what you want. Who are you? Amistios. I'm not here to start trouble, but if that's what you want, I'll end it. Your name? I'm Alexios. Some call me the Eagle Bearer. I am Daphne, leader of the Daughters of Artemis. And you are maybe exactly who I've been looking for. And who would that be? A warrior! A hunter. One who straddles our world and the gods. One who will meet my challenge. When you put it like that, how could I not accept? There's a boar not too far from here. Kill it, then bring me its pelt. You want me to kill a pig? This is no ordinary boar. Let's see if you are worthy of my challenge. Kill it, and bring me the pelt. I'll be waiting. With your reward. Don't ask any questions. Best keep out of sight. Yeah! 
Get this pelt back to Daphne at the temple. <laughs> Did you get lost? Here, I killed your piggy for you. Hmm. You are skilled. Of that there is no doubt. I have plenty of talents. Of that, you can be sure. Oh, is that so? Well, I look forward to putting them all to the test. Oh? And what did you have in mind? <laughs> Many things. But first, to business. There are beasts that roam this world, but are not fully of it. They've been placed here by the gods as trials, as tests. Neither God nor mortal has stopped me so far from achieving my destiny. Hmm, we will see. What exactly do you want me to do? I want you to prove your worth in the eyes of Artemis, and hunt these creatures. I don't need to prove my worth to anyone. Just tell me what's the reward. With each pelt you return, I will grant you a boon from Artemis. If you are able to slay all the beasts, well, let's say your relationship with the daughters of Artemis will be forever changed. All right, I'll do it. Now, just how many of these animals are there? Artemis has laid out eight trials, and you have already started the journey. Can't down those that remain. How will I recognize the creatures? Oh, you'll know. Bring the pelts to me. I'll await your return with my sisters, the daughters of Artemis. I hope you don't make me wait too long to see your face again. Beast Slayer! I'm glad to see you. Daphne, I didn't think you would be. The path I set you on is fraught with danger. You could have been killed, or given up. No danger could have kept me from seeing you again. Maybe you're getting ahead of yourself. Maybe. I'll return when I have more pelts. <laughs> 